tag is Dr. Nikki, and I'm going to be working with you with word problems and using digital tools. I'll be working with tools from the Math Learning Center, and I love their tools, and I call them an Ask Them Kid. I use their tools to model word problems, and they said absolutely. So I am so excited to be showing how to use digital apps in the classroom. Their tools are free. You can pull them up. You can use them across all devices. And so it's just absolutely wonderful. So I want to talk about problem solving, and we're going to look at kindergarten problems. So you can say things like this. Kindergarten problem is the first one is add to result unknown. Susie had five marbles, and she got two more. How many does she have now? Seven. All right, another add to unknown. Susie had five marbles, and she got five more. How many does she have? Ten. All right, so in the add to result unknown, kids are looking for what happened at the end, right? And so it's really important to model stories and on different, you want different types of models. So I might model it on the rec and rec one day. Because remember when we're doing problem solving, it's not about just getting the answer. It's about actually working with students to, to look at a problem, to visualize it, to summarize it, and then to make a plan, and then to solve one way and to check another. And so you might read the problem with your kids on the first day, and then on the second day you might solve one way and check another. One way might be with the rec and rec, and then you might solve it with the 10 frame. Um, these, again, are the Math Learning Center, and they're 10 frames, and they're wonderful. Watch this. I can say Susie had five marbles, right? And then she got two more. How many does she have now? When you do it this way, kids can actually benchmark that five and see that there's and some more. Or I could do this. I could say Susie had five marbles and she got two more. How many does she have now? Right. But watch this. This is really cool. You can, I can change my icons. So I could go in here and I could say I want to tell stories about butterflies. So I could color my butterflies, <laughs> and then I could say there were five red butterflies, there were five red butterflies on the tree, and then two more came. How many butterflies are there now? There were five yellow butterflies on the tree, and then five more came. Notice five all at once, because they want kids to know five is a benchmark number, and that you don't have to count that. And so I can model it now on frames, number frames, five frames and 10 frames, right? We're talking about kindergarten problems. I could also model it on a number line. There were, Susie had five marbles and she got two more, right? Or I could say Susie had four marbles, right? I can adjust this jumper. Susie had four marbles and she got four more. Right. And so there's different models that you can use with the students. And I just think that that's so important um, to be able to tell those types of stories. And so those are add to result unknown stories. And I have modeled it on the ten, the wreck and wreck on the number frame and on the number line. The next set of stories I'm going to model is the take from. All right, I'll see you in the next video.